Big high school football doings as we reach the peak of the season. Justin Jarrett has the latest. Hey there, Loco sports fans. It was back to full steam ahead on the Loco high school football front Friday night with a full slate of 12 games, including a trio of Loco on Loco showdowns. So let's dive into the highlights in another edition of Loco Lights on WHHI, powered by LocoSports.com. We'll begin with an absolute Donnybrook on Ladies Island, where Team Loco's Wes Kerr took in a Region 6-4A showdown between the Buford Eagles and the Bluffton Bobcats that lived up to the hype. The Bobcats outlasted the Eagles in a back-and-forth shootout as Aiden McCarthy passed for 239 yards and five touchdowns and added 93 yards on the ground to help Bluffton pull out a 42-35 road win. McCarthy connected with star Carnell Warren eight times for 139 yards and three TDs, and Nate Ulmer and Tyler Wolf each added a touchdown grab. But it was a special teams play that changed everything. After Buford took a 28-21 lead, Bluffton's Lucas Gates took the ensuing kickoff to the crib, and the Bobcats rode the momentum to a huge region win. You can watch the highlights or the full game replay on the Buford's own YouTube channel. The May River Sharks joined the Bobcats in starting 1-0 in region play, as Andrew Johnson led May River's powerful rushing attack with 147 yards and two touchdowns on just 11 carries, and hauled in one of Tanner Macy's two touchdown passes. Macy also added two rushing scores, and Asa Haskins rushed 10 times for 98 yards and caught a TD pass. Xavier Polite anchored the defense as May River rolled to 5-0 with a 42-6 route at Colleton County. The other team atop the region is Bishop England after the battling Bishop shut down Hilton Head's offense to grind out a 21-7 win and send the Seahawks to 0-1 in region play, going into a massive matchup with rival Bluffton on Thursday night, weather permitting. In Class 3A, Battery Creek started region play in style and locked up a playoff spot with a 47-14 route in North Charleston. Derek Smalls Jr. took two punt returns to the house and caught one of Chase Olson's two touchdown passes to help the Dolphins even their record at 3-3 going into a bye week. One of the top teams in Class 2A got back on track as Hampton County rolled to a 44-12 win at Edisto. Jalen Singletary picked up 94 of his 107 rushing yards on one of his two touchdowns, and Javen Risher added two rushing scores for the Hurricanes. Ridgeland continued its climb up the Region 4-1A standings with a dominant defensive effort in a 19-8 win over Denmark Olar. As Winston Smith rolled up 175 yards and two touchdowns on the ground, Xavier Plowdenis added a rushing touchdown and eight tackles, and Devin Fields had five tackles and three takeaways, a pick and two fumble recoveries. If the Jags take care of Allendale Fairfax on Friday, they'll host Bamberg Earhart for the region title on October 18th. It was a tough week for area Skiza teams as Thomas Hayward was the only winner and the Rebels won at the expense of a loco rival. Tony O'Banner rushed for 115 yards and two touchdowns and threw a pair of TD passes to help the Rebels win a shootout with Patrick Henry despite a huge night from Michael Tucker Mathis who passed for 217 yards and three TDs and rushed for 113 and two scores along with 14 tackles on defense. Rebels win a battle 51-33 and maintain their status as the region favorite. John Paul II, Hilton Head Prep, Buford Academy and Cross Schools all took losses on the road and look to put the pieces back together starting today. We'll be live at 9.30 p.m. tonight for the Loco Sports Lowdown and look back on week seven of the high school football season and check in on other sports news around the Loco. So tune in to the Loco Media YouTube channel for all the local sports news you need all season long. For Loco Sports and WHHI, I'm Justin Jarrett. Until next time, go Loco. Thanks, Justin. We want to thank all of our guests for helping us get a little bit smarter over the last 30 minutes. And a special thanks to you for tuning in. If you missed anything at all, we'll be back in 90 minutes. I'm Bob Stevens.